Welcome back to Recruiting Thursday here on the Westmoreland Sports Network. Jack Ridenauer here with you all, and today we're joined by Greater Latrobe football player and recent St. Vincent College football commit, Danny Calabrese. Danny, great to get you on the network today. Congrats on the recent commitment. How does it feel to make this decision? Uh, it feels great. Thank you for having me, first of all, but it feels great to be able to play college ball. Yeah, man, you're going to be going off to college and playing at St. Vincent, playing in the President's Athletic Conference, which I'm sure you're very excited for. But I want to get into the decision making yes. and kind of the the process in which that you went through. I mean, what was it that ultimately led you to wanting to settle on the Bearcats? I've visited a lot of PAC schools. I feel like PAC was my biggest division. PAC is a good place to go. But it came down to my decision with uh, the coaches the St. Vincent coaches, they're kind of like how late Trobes are. They have the same mindset with the culture change. And like, they just want to bring pack championship to St. Vincent. And I love their line coach. Their line coach is a great guy and coach John Bainbridge. He coached at late Trobe back in the nineties. So just going in there, picking the culture that uh, late Trobe had this year and bringing it into St. Vincent next year. Hopefully bring home a pack championship for them. Now, do you know what position you'll be playing next year at St. Vincent? Because I know you moved around a lot on the line, so I'm curious if you know if you've you know been able to nail down where you'll be exactly. I have a feeling I'm going to be at center, uh, but it all could change. Uh, I move pretty well for my for an O lineman, so I could end up being I could end up making a switch to defense. I could just move from either tackle down to the center. So I have no clue yet, but so far right now it's at center and guard. Now in the midst of this decision-making, I'm sure there were probably some other schools that were in the mix. What were some other schools that you were thinking about when it finally came down to that final choice? I had Westminster, Waynesburg, and Teal as my top. T they, Wayne's, uh, no, Westminster was my second choice. Uh, their line coach, Coach Haw, is a great guy. They have a great culture over there as well with Coach Benzel. But I feel like those were my top four. All of them treated me really well through my recruitment, and they just made me feel like it was a home place for their colleges to bring me in there. Well, it's great that you were able to find, you know, a place that you felt comfortable, felt at home. And like you said, you know, the coaching staff and everything else is exactly what you were looking for. But, Danny, I want to get into your career overall as a football player and just start with, I mean, what got you interested in football initially? Well, my dad made me. He was a big football guy back in the day and kind of just started going in ever since. Flag football, I loved it ever since. It, I didn't think I was going to be playing college football, start of high school. But at the end of it, I'm glad I made the decision to play. But I definitely love the sport ever since I started. Now, when did you realize that you wanted to play in college? When did that kind of, you know, that flip, that, that, that switch flipped a little bit for you and you said, you know what, I think I'm ready to do that? Definitely when Coach Prady came in. He called me, he called the seniors down and asked, hey, do you, do you play college ball? And I was like, I don't know yet, but I need to look into it more. And after I sat down and talked to him, I finally did, made a decision like, hey, I'm going to go get recruited, try and start this process off with him. And he helped me a lot with my college recruiting, helping me reach out to colleges and just there the whole way through. Well, I know that this past season, outside of obviously a lot of excitement for Latrobe football winning a, their, their first playoff game in many, many years, over 50 years, you were also individually yeah. recognized by the NFL Network for the way to play for the high school football award, which I'm sure was a really cool thing for you. You got your play broken down on there. NFL Network and everything else in between. What was that like finding out that you know you had been selected for that and, and how surprised and shocked were you? I was really surprised because I saw it on Huddle. I was just looking through one day, and I didn't even know it was a thing. But I woke up one morning, and I got a text saying that I was on Good Morning Football News. I was super shocked, excited, because I didn't know which coach nominated me because you can't nominate yourself for that type of award. But it's super exciting, super unique award. No, You don't see many high school or 
players getting recognized for that award. So I think it's – I'm grateful to receive it. I'm grateful that Coach Prady nominated me, but it's super exciting to receive that. Well, I know that one of the prizes that you received or kind of the awards, really, you either had $3,000 in equipment given to the unit, to the school or you're the, the choice of a state-of-the-art tackling robot, if I'm not mistaken. What went into your decision to go with the tackling robot? Uh, I think the tackling dummy would, helped our team, would help our team a lot, especially keeping up with the fastest guy, making like the corners, their flip hips to open up just reading how fast people are and breaking it down for them just so they can become better over the skill. And so our kids, the teammates don't hurt each other by laying it into each other, all practice, like help their body. Well, I think it's great on your part that you were kind of, you know, not only thinking about this year's team, but for teams in the future, right? And for kind of the Definitely. future of Latrobe football, which is, again, just a, a testament to who you are and, and always thinking about, hey, you know what? I want to leave this, how I found it in a great spot, and I want to continue that on. But I know that it's kind of starting in the right trend, and you guys, your class has started that kind of forward momentum, especially this past year, winning your first playoff game in over 50 years. What did that moment mean for not only you individually, not the team, but the entire program and really just the Latrobe area? Uh, it means a lot, definitely since when Coach Prady came in. His big thing was change the culture. We weren't big. Latro wasn't like a really winning team for the past couple years, but he came in and his big thing was change the culture. He just wanted to come in and win. That was his big thing. And just coming in and taking us to the playoffs since last time. Since, I don't know, 50 plus years ago. I don't even know how long. I think it's big for the community, for the program, and big for the coaches as well. Uh, our equipment manager, uh, Fez, we like to call him. He, it's amazing for that guy in the program for so long, just seeing his excitement after we won because just how happy he is for our team and for the program and for the school. Yeah, definitely, I think, a memory that you and your fellow teammates will always remember and a great way for you to send off on your high school career and embark on your college journey now. And I want to ask just what that preparation for college football looks like right now. I mean, I know that, again, in February, probably not a whole lot going on football-wise, still obviously training and getting ready. But what does that kind of next few months look like for you before you head off for, for summer training? Just work. You just got to keep working. Because I want to start my freshman year. I want to make an impact for that team. So I'm going to work until I know I'm going to be able to. And then just keep going until tra until their training camp comes around in August. So just make sure that I keep going and not stop. Well, Danny, it's been a blast to get you on today for Recruiting Thursday. Before we let you go, just want to hear, what are you most excited for when you head off to college? It doesn't have to be football-related. can be anything. Just want to hear what you're most excited for for the next four years. Just getting a college education. Not many people go out and get one. Mo many people just join the workforce force right out of high school. So I think going and getting a college education and playing college ball at the same time is just an amazing feeling and amazing thing to do even for like any high schooler so i think that's probably my favorite thing to go do out of just going into college just see how far i go well danny we again appreciate you stopping by today on recruiting thursday and we wish you nothing but luck moving forward on your next four years at saint vincent thanks again for stopping by thank you for having me that's St. Vincent football commit Danny Calabrese. Folks, thanks as always for joining us for another edition of Recruiting Thursday right here and only on the Westmoreland Sports Network.